so shelf management is all about the presentation as i've just discussed about the appealing presentation about the attractive presentation about the uniformity in the presentation that is the key part in the presentation let me discuss with you the presentation and then we are going to discuss about the basic principles of presentations because that is of course the key in shelf management so first of all as a presentation if you see so your presentation has to create attractive uniform and easily accessible presentation in a very structured way so the objective of the retailer is to create attractive uniform easily accessible more structured presentation for your customer and normally it is well said that if the products are properly display it is very easy to sell them because the product speaks the presentation speaks at its own let let's come and buy this product for that particular customer so for example you have two examples here for food and one for non food so examples of food now you can see the example which is there for food which is here so this example is attractive because if you go to this area to buy vegetables or fruits you see a uniformity in the presentation you see the products are easily accessible because the customer has trolley or customer is moving without trolley it should be easily accessible to the customer and the, the display is structured it is not unorganized like open markets if you have visited the mandis or markets where you see the unstructured way of selling this product you can easily identify or categorize the difference between a presented display and a non presented display between a structured display and between a non structured display same is an example of uh, non food so again if you see the example of paper here or example of other display here in the non food area so in the non food area it is again uh, very attractive it is uniformity you will see uniformity here is easily accessible to the customer the products are very easily available and accessible to the customer and the products are made available in a very structured way the pricing are very is very clear very transparent the customer knows about it even the description of the products are very clear so it is all about presentation and if your products are well presented if you yourself is well presented of course you are able to sell the products and of course yourself also so create attractive uniform and easily accessible presentation in a structured way is a presentation it will result into optimization of sales area and the productive uh, product displays it will result of course in the increase in sales and increase in sales will result in this stores overall results stores overall k overall kpis which includes sales uh, productivity of course turnover of course invoicing of course uh, stock inventory so everything and anything is related to relevant to the product presentation now we are going to discuss about the basic principles of presentation so there are 16 basic principles uh, which of the presentation which is the key for shelf management so first of all the first basic principle is creating thematic world so in the retail store while presenting the products you need to create some theme of the products either this theme is by color or by product family or by size of the product so or maybe uh, by some any other factor so the first basic principle of the presentation is to create the thematic world the second basic principle is allow an open atmosphere especially for the fresh products fresh food products you have to uh, create allow an open atmosphere you have seen um, meat segment you have seen bakery segments you have seen fish segment so uh, fruits and vegetable segment they are all fresh food areas so you need to create some open atmosphere so that the customer can get the good feel of the presentation the third principle is about uh, create visually appealing displays with regard to color product type category so the displays should be visually appealing for the customers fourth principle is about mass merchandising so you need to do mass merchandising the products has to be displayed in bulk the products has to be displayed in large quantities because once once you do that strategy of course it give more attraction to the uh, customer 
then you need to ensure easy handling the proper the products should be easily handled by the customer the product should be presented per product family the product should be presented as per the size of packaging for example at the top maybe you will place the smallest size and at the bottom maybe you will place the largest size so as per sizes as per packaging of the size size of the packaging you have to display as per the product families in order to avoid the contamination and everything you have to display for example tea has to be displayed with tea coffee has to be displayed with coffee category or tea or coffee together as a family not for example detergents with tea or detergents with coffee so uh, the is the product has to be presented in the product family the product has to be presented in the packaging proper packaging segment also at eight principle that you have to maintain product placements you have to ensure that products are placed properly and then you maintain them regularly ninth principle is about turn article labels to the front so the labeling of the articles should be in front so that the customer can easily see these uh, articles and the description of these articles and the pricing of these articles the 10th principle is about do not present articles too high with respect to accessibility with respect to visibility so if the products are presented too high above the eye level of course customer will not be able to see that and you will not be able to sell these products and product should be easily accessible also there should not be situation that customer want to buy it but the products are not accessible 11th principle is use appropriate equipment to present your product for example if you are going to uh, present products on the pallets so you need to give proper palletized area you need to have proper pallets to display your product do not play articles on the floor it is one of the basic principles that the products the articles should not be directly placed on the floor means if they are on the floor there has to have either shelves or pallets uh, under it otherwise directly uh, no product have an access to the floor uh, surface next principle is about make sure all information is visible within 5 second principle what is 5 second principle that within 5 seconds the customer should be able to identify the sample he will be able to see the price he can easily identify the product information he can easily see the stock of that product so 5 seconds four basic information has to be clearly available for the customer the 14th principle of presentation is about creating powerful presentations the pro the, 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 the presentations should be eye catchers these presentations should be massive the presentations should be full face for example full aisle or full bay presentation or massive v and cap displays or the massive gondolas will really give a powerful impression of the presentation so the 15th principle is about encouraging impulse buying so you need to see the cross merchandising perspective into consideration that ensure uh, that at the point of sale the you need to have all impulsive product for example chocolates for example candies for example cigarettes so all such products which are impulse buying they they are there very much there and you to you need to also encourage uh, as a 15th principle of presentation the cross merchandising so 16th and last basic principle of presentation is about choosing the right location for the right product so the product location is very important even your display is very right so the you, you have to ensure the right display and that right display should be at the right location in order to get the proper feedback and results from the customer